Hi, this is Easy English with Allie. I am Allie, and today I am going to do a lesson on restaurants. All the phrases and vocabulary that you need to know when you go to a restaurant. So we are going to learn a lot of the different things. Whenever you go to a restaurant, you will be confident in speaking and listening. So this is actually a listening and speaking activity. I am going to go over some vocabulary and then a few phrases. And then I am going to actually play a dialogue. You need to listen closely because after I am going to ask you some comprehension. So understanding questions to make sure that you understood everything that I said in the dialogue. All right, so let's get started. So let's just start with the vocabulary. So when you go to a restaurant, what are some words that you need to know? A big one is the menu. So this is the paper or the little book that the waitress will give you and it has all the food options. So they will have a food menu, they will have a drinks menu, and they will also have a dessert menu, depending on the restaurant you go to. So that is the menu. The next one, on the menu, you might find an appetizer. An appetizer is a small dish that you eat before your main dish. So it's something small. If you're really hungry, they can make it fast and they will bring it out to you very quickly. So that is called the appetizer. Okay, so they might ask you, can I start you off with an appetizer? And you could say, oh yes, I would like some nachos or some fries or some mussels maybe. So an appetizer, the small dish before the main dish. The main course, or entree that is your big meal okay so that is what you're going to eat in the middle of your meal the main dish the big part of your meal maybe a hamburger maybe some pasta maybe a uh, chicken salad, I'm not sure what you like to eat for your main course. And then when you are finished your main course, sometimes you like something nice and sweet afterwards. This is what we call the dessert. Dessert. So ice cream or cake or pie very common in Canada and the United States to have something sweet after your meal. So dessert. After you're finished, they might ask you, would you like to see the dessert menu? And you can say, oh yes please, or no, I'm so full. That means that you've had enough. Sometimes a restaurant will have specials. Specials. So these are some, these are unique things or something a little different that the, the chef doesn't always make. Sometimes people will have some dietary restrictions. So if you only eat vegetables, do you know what that's called? You are called a vegetarian vegetarian so you might say this meal doesn't have any meat does it because i am vegetarian okay 
if you are really strictly vegetarian and you don't eat eggs, you don't eat cheese, you don't eat milk, anything that comes from an animal, that means that you are vegan, okay? So vegetarian means that you might eat those things, but vegan means that you do not eat anything that comes from an animal. So that's vegan. All right, and then another thing that some people don't eat is bread or anything with gluten in it, okay? So you might be gluten-free. Sometimes it's by choice and sometimes it's because your stomach cannot handle the gluten. So you would say, I am gluten-free. Is there anything in this meal that has gluten in it? So you are gluten free. So when you go to maybe a fancy restaurant that's very popular, you might need a reservation. This means that you call before, you call ahead, and you book a table. Okay, so you might say, hello, can I please make a reservation for five people at six o'clock tonight or whenever you want it? Okay, so to make a reservation. The verb is to reserve. So I would like to reserve a table. So you have to say how many people you want your table for. So I would like a table for four. A table for, this could be whatever number you want. A table for five or a table for six. Do you have a table for 10? Do you know what the person is called that brings you the food? That is called the waiter or the waitress. A waiter if it's a man and a waitress if it is a woman. Waiter or a waitress. Okay, and the person that brings you to the table is often called the host or hostess. Host for the man hostess if it is a woman. All right, and the person that takes away your dishes might be the bus boy or the bus girl, the bus, okay? And the person who cooks your food that you do not usually see is called the chef, the chef. When you are finished your dinner and you want to pay, you ask for the check or the bill. You can say, okay, I'm all done. Could we please get the bill or could we please get the check? So the bill or the check. Yep, and sometimes you pay at the table or sometimes you pay at the front. So you can say, do we pay at the table or do we pay at the front? And on top of your bill or check, so that's the amount that you need to pay, you pay a tip in Canada and the United States. Tip. So that is a certain percentage of your check and this is paying for the service. Okay, so I know some people say it's optional, but it's not really optional around here anymore. If you don't, it would be very disappointing to the restaurant. So the tip is usually about 15 to 20%. And more, I guess, if you really enjoyed the service. 
To order means to ask for the food. To order. That means to tell your waitress what you would like. So they might say, are you ready to order? You said, yes, we would like to order. Um, to recommend, that means that you are asking the waitress what she thinks you would like at the restaurant. Maybe they have really popular items. You could say, what would you recommend? So that's to recommend. To serve means to bring the food to your table. To serve. To pay means to give the money for, the, for your food. All right. To reserve, we talked about before. That means to call ahead and book a table. To reserve. To take away, if you are eating and all of your dishes are clean and they're kind of getting in the way, the waitress might come and ask, can I take away your dishes or can I take this away? Are you all finished with it? So they'll take away whatever that you want them to. Take away, to take away. Um, to dine in means that you can eat inside the restaurant. Otherwise, you just have to take it in your car and go. So that's to dine in. To dine in. A couple more. To be seated. That means that a waitress will bring you to your table. Sometimes you go to a restaurant and it will say, please wait to be seated. It means stand there, someone will help you and lead you to a table. They will show you where to go. Please wait to be seated. Okay, to be ready. Are you ready to order? Are you ready to pay? Are you ready for dessert? Okay, so to be ready. And then I'm just gonna talk about a few phrases that you might hear in a restaurant. So, good evening, welcome to the restaurant's name. Okay, good evening, good afternoon. Good morning if you are there for brunch. Brunch is after breakfast and before lunch. It's kind of a combination. We call it brunch. So they might ask you, how many people are in your party? That means how many people are you with? Okay. Do you have a reservation? Yes, we have a reservation or no, we don't. Please follow me. Your table is this way. Here is the menu. Can I start you off with some drinks? It means that you can have this menu, but do you know what you want to drink? You might say, oh yes, I'll have a pop. Or, uh, let me just look at the drink menu first. Um, what would you like for your main course? What would you like for dessert? What would you like as an appetizer? So that's what they might ask you when you're ready to order, to say what you want. Do you have any allergies that we need to know about? So that means, yes, are you vegetarian? Are you vegan? Are you gluten-free? Or are you allergic to peanuts? Are you allergic to berries, okay, you need to tell them what your body cannot handle. Are you allergic to something? Okay, I'll be right back with your drinks. I'll be right back means they're going to go for a bit and they will come back. Is everything to your satisfaction means is everything good, everything okay? 
can I get you anything else? They will often ask you that. You say, oh, can I get some ketchup for my fries? Um, do you need a to-go box? If you are eating and you leave half because you're full, sometimes people will get a to-go box or a to-go container. And thank you for dining with us. Have a great day. Just means thank you for coming. Please enjoy your meal. Thank you. And our specials today are, so when you go to a restaurant, they will often give you specials. So those are special things that they are offering that day. Okay, so let's listen to this dialogue and then I'm going to ask you some questions. Good evening and welcome to the White Rabbit Bistro. How may I help you today? Hi, we have a reservation under the name Smith. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Right this way, please. Here is your table. Thank you. Here are the menus for tonight. Can I start you off with any drinks? Yeah, I'll have a glass of your house red wine, please. Excellent choice. And for you, ma'am? I'll have a sparkling water with a slice of lemon, please. Very well. I'll be right back with your drinks. Are you ready to order, or would you like some more time? We're ready. For appetizers, I'll have the shrimp cocktail, and my wife will have the Caesar salad, please. Perfect. And for the main course? I'll have the grilled salmon with roasted vegetables, please. Excellent. And for you, ma'am? I'll go for the filet mignon with mashed potatoes. Wonderful. How would you like your steak cooked? Medium rare, please. Great. And that comes with a side. What would you like? I'll have a side of sautéed mushrooms and a basket of garlic bread, please. Very well. Your order will be up shortly. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, thank you. We're all set for now. All right. Here is your food. Please enjoy your meals and please let me know if you need anything else. Thanks. This looks amazing. How are you finding everything? Everything's delicious. We're really enjoying it. I'm glad to hear that. Would you like to see the dessert menu? Ooh, yes, please. We'll take a look. Take your time. I'll be back shortly to take your dessert order. Here are some comprehension questions for that dialogue that we just listened to. So, what is the name of the restaurant that the customers went to? Good. What did the customer order for an appetizer? Just the man, not the woman. What did he order as an appetizer? What did this same customer order for the main course or the entree? How did the customer's wife want her steak? So there's three types. There's rare, there's medium rare, and there's well done. Okay, so what did she want? Did the customer order any side dishes? If so, can you remember? Can you remember what the side dish was? And how did the customer find their dishes? So how did they like their dishes? And what does the waiter ask the customers after they are finished their meal? Did the customer enjoy their dining experience? Great. Okay, so if you did not get any of these questions, I would like you to go back and listen to the conversation and find the questions. If you don't know the questions, I am going to leave the answers right here for you. All right, but best is to go back and find the answers before. Search for those questions. Search for the answers now that you know what the questions are. That will help you 
with your listening and your understanding, okay? Listening to it a few times is okay. That is really good for you. All right, so I hope that helped you with learning some restaurant vocabulary and phrases. I hope that you are now confident to go to a restaurant. If you liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I will be making some more. I know that you guys like listening lessons. I also love to do some grammar stuff too. But this was a listening and a vocab lesson. So have a wonderful day.